My novel is a mess, so how do I fix it? Well, there are some really useful tools out there, and the one that I've chosen to give a try is Novel Factory. Now, I've, I've talked a little bit about this in my live recently, but basically what Novel Factory does, it's a little like Scrivener, except it's a lot more visual, at least I find it a lot more visual and easier to navigate, and it shows me my novel. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my extremely messy novel, that I created at Nano last year, and I am organizing it. I'm putting the scenes in. I've created a cheat sheet of what I want my novel to be, what I want each scene to be, and I have popped that into the AI, into um, ChatGPT, and I put that in, and the scene I'm working on, and I say, hey, ChatGPT, um, can you... Give me a, a review and a summary of my scene based on this, this spreadsheet here. And this is all automatic. All right, so I've got my novel, my very messy novel here. And I'm just going to copy this chapter. I'm doing it a chapter at a time because if I don't do it a chapter at a time, then um, ChatGPT gets over overloaded and it doesn't work so I'll just pop that in there and then and then before I share that because I want to give chat GPT very direct instructions so if I don't give the chat really specific instructions then it can just spew out anything it can rewrite it it can um it, like you've got to remember this isn't a human being it's not intuitive it follows instructions, which is why I created a template of what to ask, collect all and copy. Now, I like to uh, be polite to chat GPT because I have read a lot of science fiction and uh, I figure if we are polite and nice to the AI, it won't, you know, try to conquer us and take over. So, yeah, so right on top, right before the scene, I'm going to put in my notes. So, chat GPT has given me a nice little summary, which I can pop into my novel factory scene card so that I can quickly see what's going on, which is what I wanted. It's also given me this, all this going here, but what it's telling me here is my tension is, is, is a little bit low and the quality is sort of middle, but it's not particularly outstanding. There's no significant conflict. Whatever scene should have some conflict. So I'm going to have to rewrite the scene a little bit before I move on. And then I, um, I, I look at it and I go, okay, so it's not funny enough because I'm writing a romantic comedy. There's not enough tension. There's not enough conflict. Nothing's actually happening in this scene. Actually, it doesn't relate to my major plot. Do I need it? How can I adjust it? And then I'm moving my way through. I've done this for all of Act 1. And what's great about Novel Factory is it gives me an outline for a romance novel. I'm writing an asexual romance novel and it's giving me all the steps so I can see if I've hit that. And it lets me organize it. I've chosen to organize it by scene and then by act, but you can also organize it by chapter. But I've chosen by act because I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to break up the chapters yet. So I've done it that way, but it allows me to link everything together. So then I can link it to my characters, I can link it to other, other plot points in the subplots. And I've heard that they're going to update this, which um, sh I'm extremely excited about because this is my favorite part of this app. So I don't want to talk too much about it because it's going to get an update and I'll come back and talk to you about it then. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss that video. So I've put in um, the title and uh, the the description from ChatGPT and um, it's from my character Lizzie's perspective. I've put it in, I've linked to um, okay. my characters, I've linked to my settings. Sometimes uh, I, I go back and I ask ChatGPT to tell me if I've got weather or date or time, but I know where I am. I don't need it right now. So um, this is after first heat, same day. You can see I've broken it up into acts. So there's act one, my first 10 scenes, and I've started act two, sailing to dinner. So I'm going to um, try and revise the scene, make it a little funnier, make it, because I'm writing a comedy, so I want it to be kind of funny. Um, but I also really want to make sure that I've done my my decision cycle well. So you can see I've got that pulled out in ChatGPT. I had ChatGPT pull that out for me as part of my template um, question. So the characters, 
want to have a fun evening. There's no significant conflict. There's no disaster. There is no dilemma. That's not cool. I need to add some, I need to add some drama to the scene. So let's But that. basically what it's allowing me to do is organize my thoughts and organize my story. It's under this one really big, long, messy document that I've got. I've got scenes that are working and it's so exciting and I actually submitted to Veruna this week <laughs> because I had the first 10,000 words edited, fixed up, and exactly the way I think I want them thanks to Novel Factory. So what's great about this is working with Grammarly, which is fantastic, but did not happen with some of the other programs I used. So um, it means that I can do my editing right here in like my line editing right here because Grammarly is great for that. I'll pop that link below as well. Um, I should mention some of these links are affiliates. Some of them are not. Some of them I just love these programs. Um, but I just, I really want to share them with you. And what it's also done is it's highlighted some scenes and some things that I need to refer back to. For example, my main character, Lissy, has discovered that her sister's ex-boyfriend has already moved on and they're not too keen on this and they think he might be cheating so they want to find out and they have a friend who can get hold of the security footage where he works but this friend her name is drew my character says if you if you ask her you're going to owe her and i was like i forgot that i wrote that that's actually really interesting so i've made that an item so there's this section you can have settings and you can have characters and you can also have these items so I've made, I've made Drew's favors an item. So when I mention them, I can go back to the items list and I can look at it and I can see where I've mentioned them. And then when I get to later on in the story and I see that I haven't paid that, that, that off, then I can go back and pay it all. I've decided this is a great place since I need the conflict. Um, I can also kind of add to the decision-making process and link back to that uh, Drew favor kind of sub, it's not really a subplot, it's sort of an, it's an item that I've created and kind of nod back to that and have Lissy decide not to take the favor. And actually that is going to cost her. So, um, but it kind of that reminds my reader that these Drew favors as I've called them are problematic and possibly a, a bad choice and I'm have Lissy decide not to do it even though it, it doesn't seem like a big favor it's just texting my boss to make up an excuse so now that I tied this to uh, the Drew favor as I'm calling it I'm going to link it to Drew's favor which I can do just right here on the side you can see this I just drop and um I just will scroll down to Drew's so then it links it down here, Drew's help. Um, but I can also look at it. If I go over to my items, I can open up Drew's help and I can see the scenes it's attached to. Drew's help always comes as a price. I've had them accept it once and, re and now she's rejected it once. So it, it's, it's a very, very, it's not even a plot. It's just a, an, a, a through line that is going to pay off at some point later in the novel and it's interesting that i did this when i wrote this because when there is a point where drew does a favor without being asked it's going to be very negative for my main character um so this will add sort of another element to that because oh, that is part of my um, my love story plot. That Drew and her favors are a thing. They're they're something. They're they're dangerous. Um, and it adds more uh, more danger to a relatively tame novel about sort of uh, you know romance and YouTube. It sort of adds this sort of element of okay, we've got it. We've got a character that's a little bit sinister. This is so exciting. I love this so much, and it's so intuitive. It works so smoothly. It has helped me. There's this wonderful place that you saw the short of this week where I sit down and I figure out the basic outline and it gives me the breakdown of how to create a perfect 
or near perfect two were two sentence su summary of my novel two sentence summary of my novel and that is just I, i'm sorry i'm talking so fast but this is so exciting i love this tool it's gonna ask the same questions and see if if i get different answers if i've actually improved it still telling me that I don't have a lot of conflict, even though I've added all this stuff. So I'm gonna ask GTP how it thinks I can add some conflict to the scene. Mm -hmm. So I have done those things, with well, the exception of the twist that it gives me. That twist doesn't fit into my plot, so I'm gonna ignore that. In the moment where maybe we can establish that Drew and the boss have a relationship, and maybe the moment where Drew says that she can text him back and, and give make up some excuse, um, I can actually flesh that out a little bit more and make it, have you seen Lissy? I can't reach her from the boss. So if you're running something like a Chromebook or a dinky little computer, what's great about Novel Factory is they have an online version. So you can actually use it online without using the program. You don't have to download a program or anything. So that's kind of cool. And then you can use it in any, any computer at all because you just have to log into your account and everything's there. And the standard version, which is the middle tier, that has multiple books. So you can work on multiple books, which I will probably use come Camp Nano because I suspect, I'm hoping that I will have this book finished and ready, but I suspect I'm not going to hit that. So if I decide to do something else for Camp Nano, I can set this aside and I can have another project going, which is really cool. I have another novel that I wrote just before Nano uh, Rymo in November last year that needs some needs some work. So I'm going to ask ChatGP, now that I've uh, made my revision, I'm going to ask them if I have increased my, um, my conflict at all. Have they done it? Yay! Yay! Yeah, that's it. Fantastic. Love this. I love this way of organizing everything and connecting it to the plots. And I'm going, I'm going through very strategically because they basically have a master class called their novel roadmap embedded into the course. So it takes you through not just teaching you how to use the tool, but teaching you everything from starting with a basic idea of a novel to publishing, to publishing, whether you're traditionally publishing and you need help with query letters or submitting or whether you want to self publish and you need help and you want to export the files that way. It's fantastic. This is so exciting. It's my new favorite thing. It's my favorite thing of 2023. And I might be late to the party because I think they've been around for a while. But when, it, when a plan comes together. So I have successfully done this. So now I'm going to just plop her into her. Conflict is list. Because my book is in the first person, sometimes uh, I don't mention the uh, main character's name. So sometimes chat gpt doesn't remember her name which is fine it's absolutely fine she can chat gpt can not remember the name i remember the name who scrolls them the protagonists i'm going to modify this one a little the dilemma and the reason i want to do that is because she's not i don't feel she's actually conflicted about replying to her boss she's more conflicted about asking drew to reply for her now that i don't think that is the inciting incident. I think the inciting incident is Emily handing uh, Lissy her phone and she sees all the missed calls. So I don't think that chat GPT has pulled it out. Like I said, it's an AI. It's not a brain. It is only reacting. So use this as a framework to help you kind of identify where you need to go and then you have to make the call and make the decision. Stay with me this month. Again, hit that subscribe because this month I'm going to work my way through this master class and at the end of the month I will let you know how I did and what writing with this master class has done. It's completely revolutionized it already. I've only been using this program for four days, five days I've been using this program and I've already completely fixed and made my first 10,000 words of my novel ready to submit. So it has been game changing. So I've been sitting on this mess of a novel since November of last year, and here we are fixed in, in less than four days because of this program. It's fantastic, I love it. And the Novel Factory is a 30-day trial, so you can, you can take that entire course, you know, if that's all you get out of it, then do it, you know? You can take the entire course in 30 days, why not? 
why not? It's fantastic. So click those links below. If you want to see me try and work it out and figure out how to do it, I did that live. You can check out that video here. I'll see you there.